Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your December 2020 mid-month reading. This is for Scorpio. Scorpio, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Scorpio, this is for you. If this resonates with you, Please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Scorpio, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. Please keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, okay. All right, so you're not talking. All right. So you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Taurus here. Um, there is love here, Scorpio. And you got somebody watching you. All right, and you need to thoroughly investigate this situation um, to make sure that this this toxic behavior that happened here between you and this individual um, will not be repeated because I do see you pulling back your energy and going very quiet here, but there still is the potential for growth. This person wants the situation to grow, continue to grow and bloom and blossom here. Um, they find you uh, very attractive. They feel the relationship will be a blessing. It will be abundant here. But something happened. Something happened here. And now you've got this person that is quite um, obsessed with you. Okay. And um, can we balance the situation out? Can we balance this, this out and make it better? right so you have apologies coming your way knight of cups for whatever toxic behavior this person presented to you um it could be a multitude of things but we'll get to that in a moment okay so knight of cups they're coming towards you with love they will make a move here and you're going to have to decide on first of all whether you're going to talk to this individual or not um or uh, if, if you're going to let them back into your space, if you accept their apology. So Knight of Cups, that is water energy. Will you take a risk? Will you take a chance? They are building up their confidence to go from watching to actually making the move in the form of, of an offer and apology here. So can we have a fresh start here? Can we put the past in the past? and balance the situation, fix the situation, will you allow it? Will you take a risk? Will your heart be open to this individual, right? You see how open this person's heart chakra is, right? So they're going to take a chance and see um, what happens here. So big apology here. Could be dealing with a Libra. Um, this person had to learn some sort of lesson and maybe you were the person to, um, uh, you know, give them, give them that lesson. Okay. So they have figured out that they can't do certain things towards you. They cannot bring toxicity to your doorstep or you will pull back your energy and just cut them off and you will not speak to them. So you're giving them the Scorpio silent treatment until they come back in a proper way with apologies, right? So a lot of karmic things going on here with this individual. They had to learn some lessons here and they have they have apologies here for you. Now, for some of you, you may be thinking about divorcing this individual or getting a legal separation, but that's for some of you, not all of you. Um, this person's not going to let you go so easily, just so you are aware of that. All right, Scorpio, I am going to be reading the energies of the cards. 
if the sign of the person that you are dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future if their sign pops up all the better keep in mind time is fluid cross watchers keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable so you assign the roles as you wish okay but the situation between you and this person went toxic now you um could be dealing with a capricorn or somebody with strong capricorn in their chart but um negative energy toxic behaviors that caused a lot of drama was brought into the equation now that could be in the form of third party um addiction um selfish behavior obsessive behavior codependent behavior fears here um and it all kind of escalated and you had to remove yourself from from this energy because you know your self-worth and you do not deserve negative energy to be brought to you okay so the challenge is uh for this person is um getting you to speak to them because you had to take a break from all of this with this four of swords and you needed some clarity and figure out exactly what was going on here you needed time to think about it so scorpio needed a moment and you went quiet here can we heal the situation will you allow this person to heal the situation will you even talk to this individual that's going to be up to you um, but they are most definitely coming back in for a fresh new start here all right so four of swords that is air energy scorpio silent treatment for sure the advice first of all with this there they still have eyes on you okay and with this combination they're still very much obsessed with the thought of you okay so one way or another they they're watching you they're getting information about you whether virtually physically spiritually whatever the case may be they are seeing trying to figure out what you're doing okay um so you on the other hand when this person does come back around before you decide to take a chance or a leap of faith you're going to have to make sure that this person has seriously changed um so this this toxicity that they brought to you scorpio it left you with some trust issues in regards to the relationship and this person um so can you trust that you're gonna have to you know kind of look around and see what are they doing you know what are they doing um is this toxic behavior still around this person you know whatever that is so will they continue to bring toxicity to you so you're going to have to check that out and make sure um, your focus is you want a soulmate energy around you. You want something balanced, whether it's with this person or with somebody new. Some of you may be moving on towards somebody new here, just saying. Um, but that's not going to stop this past person from coming back and trying to apologize and fix things with you because your focus is i want something real i want a true soul and soul energy around me a soulmate situation something balanced um their intention is to win you back and be in a relationship here with you um, but you are looking for something amazing something magical something divine and if they cannot give that to you scorpio you may take risks somewhere else so the outcome here is this queen of wands energy a couple things with this card you could be dealing with a fire sign male or female does not matter um this person is kind of uh summoning up the courage because they feel you know maybe you are a little intimidating with the way that you just kind of completely backed off um and withdrew your energy from from the situation um and you're very strong here um but they they you know that may have been kind of a check to their ego but you're letting them know i will not tolerate this behavior here um so they're summoning up the courage to you know come forward and and with these apologies with these offers and trying to talk to you 
and they will why because they're very attracted to you they miss your energy and they have regrets here so they're going to after you know a moment they're going to go from this watching you phase to action okay queen of wands takes a minute and then she uh pursues all right she she pursues what she wants male or female doesn't matter now with this being your energy you're going after what you want it's like stella getting her groove back here so if this person cannot provide you with the type of relationship that you need you're going to be moving on okay and you could still be quite angry with this individual please clarify that queen of wands for scorpio Please clarify that Queen of Wands for Scorpio. Yeah. So a lot of you are going to be completing this chapter here, okay? And moving forward because this person gives you a lot of stress. It's a very stressful situation. You don't feel like this person is sincere in their apologies or that they're going to change their behavior. So a lot of you are going to be moving on. And I do see you taking leaps of faith with new energies here and um, that may be why this person's coming back around because they are a bit obsessive now in regards to this person's energy they they want to the cycle to continue here um, and they they have a lot of regret they you are on their mind um, thinking about it they they're having some sleepless nights here with this nine of swords so they want the cycle to continue and they're going to try to um, get back in there okay um, but a lot of stress a lot of anxiety um, do you close this chapter and keep it moving that is going to be ultimately up for you to decide in your particular situation right some of you may want to give this person a chance talk to them and hear them out that's entirely up to you others of you do not want anything to do with this energy and you're looking for something completely different um so let's pull some romance angels and see what is going on here This is for Scorpio. What is going on with Scorpio? What is going on with Scorpio? What is going on with Scorpio? So this person wants you to let go of control, meaning controlling the communication. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. They still feel this eternal love the soulmate connection with you past life relationship you have known each other before right in your mind scorpio you want to keep control right you want to keep control and you some of you may be moving on towards something so much better and um something that is absolute magic here that's what you're truly looking for and if this person cannot provide that to you if you don't see and feel the sincerity in this person and the realness of this person um, you're not going to open up your heart to them again you're not so it depends on if this person's got it together it depends on what they say <sighs> It depends on if you want to talk to them right some of you may give this person another shot others of you are moving towards a completely different chapter so again it is up to you on, on what you want to do you are in control here uh, but this reading right here is letting you know that the past that you had a toxic situation with in one form or another is coming back to try to continue the cycle with you okay so just be aware of that all right scorpio that is your reading i hope it resonates with some of you most of you all of you like i said at the beginning of the video you can now follow me on 